doctors notice that he's kind of been looking at his mouth a little bit weird. On x-ray, and we just are getting started here. This guy, unfortunately, has a jaw fracture. We can see it here in the back part of his mouth. Um, this is a sequela of all of these teeth being diseased and abscessed. Um, I just started to pull this gingiva back, but if you move the jaw, there's instability here. And so he's also got some severe dental disease here. And when we were probing these teeth, we actually started to get some bloody nasal discharge out of this left nostril, which tells me that these also communicate with the sinus cavity. So again, I can't stress enough that appropriate dental care for your pets is very important. And even when they don't necessarily look bad, which again, I mean, you can see these bottom teeth, they're dirty, but there's nothing here that screams my dog has a jaw fracture. These are pretty nasty, but it's important that your dog is evaluated regularly by a veterinarian, that you're having x-rays taken regularly, and that we keep up on their care. We're gonna pull all of these bad teeth. We're gonna shave this dog's face here today so we can place a tape muzzle for him. Um, because we're basically going to allow this to continue to be a fibrous union. So we're going to place a tape muzzle. He's going to have canned food, pain medications, antibiotics while we get this all cleaned up. And he should feel a heck of a lot better once we get all of these diseased teeth out of here. So we'll pull all this, we'll kind of show our after part, and then we'll show you what it looks like with the tape muzzle. So we've completed this dog's dental. We have extracted a number of teeth. We always make a nice dental map along with our x-rays. So we can see here all of the teeth we extracted along the upper arcades. There was some missing already. Here's where we have our fracture. And so what we're gonna do now that everything is clean and um, we removed all the diseased teeth, so we can see kind of how the mouth looks, we are gonna place a tape muzzle. So the purpose of this tape muzzle is to allow stabilization at the back part of that jaw. And this is actually nice to be able to do with the endotracheal tube in because we want to make sure this dog can open its mouth enough to be able to drink and to eat. Um, but we don't want a lot of movement. So this is actually a fairly easy thing to do when we use it with white tape. So we'll kind of fit how we're gonna do here. We're gonna put this muzzle around here and then put the back part, we shaved and trimmed the face to make it a little bit easier to keep clean as well as so that our muzzle can fit pretty snugly. Thankfully, this dog's got enough of a, of a face to be able to do this. So we're gonna take this here and get it all fixed up and we'll um, go from there. So, I always try to get all my pieces if I can kind of somewhat lined up. Tape muzzles are nice because they're pretty cheap and we can make new ones easily. And it's, you know, custom couture for the, for the dog. So we'll make this piece that goes here and then we're gonna make an entire piece that goes all the way around. And the best thing I can do is I always just fold my tape over on itself so that it's strong, but we don't need the sticky part of it. And then this dog will wear this for probably, eh, anywhere from four weeks at the minimum to eight weeks. There's already somewhat of a fibrous union here. It's not completely unstable when we were um, messing around in this mouth. A little bit of a pain. We still have all these tubes in, but at least this way this dog doesn't feel it. We did our therapy laser treatment already to the mouth to help with the pain, with inflammation to try to get this this kid feeling better. So like this. And I kind of mock it up and then I'll reinforce it. We're done. And so yeah, so this is essentially what this is gonna look like. We'll put some additional tape on here. And we're gonna have a nice little muscle for this kid. So I, we are about four weeks out from having um, removed the infected teeth. This, as a reminder, this little dog has a jaw fracture or had a jaw fracture in his mandibular um, jaw. So right back here, that had a draining tract that was due to a large tooth being um, infected and it caused a lot of disease. So we've been changing tape muzzles. And as you can see, this little dog has been uh, really giving it to his cone. <laughs> so, um, the mouth feels stable. We don't have any draining tracks, so we're gonna go ahead and let this guy um, not use his tape muzzle anymore. We are gonna have the owner do soft food still, no hard bones, treats, or anything like that. But this is really important as why we talk about the importance of dental care 
for our dogs especially um, these big teeth when they get really infected we have a lot of bone loss it can cause instability and it can cause the jaw to fracture which is what happened in this case so um, the owners are committed now to um, being um, proactive with all of their dental care and we should have a good outcome now.